Hello everybody, Mr. JK here um, from fmscout.com. Today we're going to do another tutorial and this time we're going to do how to create a player and add him to a club or keep him unemployed. So once you've gone onto the editor, first thing you need to do is load database. I've already loaded it, it's already up. So the next thing we need to do is go down to people. You want to add at the bottom and then press player. This is where you can add all the other type of pe pe all the other people. So you can have agent, journalist, all them type. So we want to do a player. So let's do myself. So we've got Jamie King. Ah, wrong. Jamie King. So there's a few things here you can change. Depend. It's completely up to you which which you do. Uh, let's say skin tone six. So your date of birth is important as well. You need to get this right. So let's say July the first. 1994 even though I'm 90 but we'll make him a little bit younger city of birth so we can add my own town press enter and then we're gonna go on to nation so we'll be from England so you enter that as well you can add an agent if you want if you know a really good agent you could add, add him onto it and um, you can also add an international retirement date depending on how good you make the player <coughs> Uh, you can add a second nation also if you wanted and you can also edit your international apps so once you've done that part let me just close these down right so we've done the details we're next going to go on to contract so I want to put myself at uh, who should we go for let's say Chelsea so we'll go for Chelsea once you, every time you search in the top bar just press enter on the keyboard and it'll search so we'll go to Chelsea um, date join can be the date from when it starts. You contract, you can set your contract expiry as well. So we'll go 2018. Wage per week, we can all just set it at 20,000. Um, so you, you can have a rolling contract if you want. You can also add a co-owned, so you can be co-owned by another club. This part here is your contract clauses, so you can add appearance bonuses and all stuff like that really. Um, you can add match earn, um, highest earner. Any competition bonuses it's all here. So nation contract you can leave that we don't really need that. You can set it to whatever nation you like really but we can leave that blank at the moment because we've set a nationality to England. Loan, we're not on, currently on loan anywhere. Um, so one, future transfer if you ever want to move on you can set that from there you don't need extra contract details, they're mainly for the MLS so that's the contract already done so then you move on to person data so this is where you've got all your attributes and your job preferences so obviously the, the worst one is 1 and the best one is 20 so you could set them all to 20 just copy and paste probably the easiest way but like I say it's completely up to you what you set here so if you wanted to be a manager, I'd set everything to zero apart from manager. And you've got more chance of when you finish the game of becoming a manager. Retirement, you can also set a retirement date if you need to. So you can set when you're going to retire. In this case, we'll leave this blank. So languages, we'll set this to England. England, English, sorry. Still, I don't think it's massively important. Uh, days at Club Nation is not important as well, but you can set that there. Career plans you've got. So this is this is pretty good because you cannot you can after you've retired you can set what you want to, what you want to be after. So we want to be a manager. Don't matter what club, it don't matter what competition, what nation or what continent. But you can set them if you need to. So once we've done the person data, we're then going to move on to the player data. <clears throat> so any specific shirt name you want. So we're going to be a striker. So I'm going to say number ten actually. So this is the important bit as well. For current ability, it's, it goes to 200, I believe. Yeah, there you go, 200. So 200 will make you the, probably the best player in the game. So we want to set this, I'd say, 120. But it's com if you want to be the best player in the game, I'll set it to 200. And um, potential ability, you can, this is where you can put 200 if you wanted. So you've got the potential to race to 200. Whereas me, I want to put minus minus 9 
Um, so then we've got the current reputation, which you can it goes up to 200. So let's just set 200. So we've got the best rep in the world. Um, in fact, we'll set that to 200, and we'll set that to 160. So it makes us the best player. Well, one of the best players. So you've got your height. So let's it goes in centimeters, I believe. So let's say 187 centimeters, and the weight it goes actually up to 120. So let's say 100. Left foot or right foot. So on this part, you want to put 20. 20 is the eyes you can go to. So you can. 20 is your fluent kind of thing. So you're going to be either the best left footed. So if you wanted to put 20 on the left foot, that means you're just going to be really good on the left foot and okay on the right foot. But if you want to be both footed, just set it to 20. You can also do trained in nation as well. Um, so then we're going to move on to the positions. So with the positions, you want to put 20, which again is 20 is the eyes you can go to. If you try and put 21, it'll just knock you back down to 20. Preferred central position, so we want to be central, or it's completely up to you. We'll leave that not set, so we can just kind of go anywhere. So your mental att attributes is, or your mental attributes really. To be honest, I'd leave these blank because it already it, it will already set you up based on your current ability anyway. So let's just leave these blank for the time being. You could also set your preferred moves. So let's say I don't really like this skin because you can't see the tick tick um, on the right. So let's make him argue with the officials. He kills, he likes around the keeper, and he shoots with power. Injuries you can add injuries if you want. Bans you can also add a ban, but you, I don't think many people will do that. We can then go on to favourite people. So if there's someone you particularly like, so you just click this arrow, press search, and then we'll go on and say, let's say Jose. There's going to be a lot of people come up. So let's say Jose Mourinho. Dislike people, let's say Alan Pardew. I'm sure a few people will agree with me with that one. Uh, you could also do favourite clubs, so obviously we've gone to Chelsea, so we'll go Chelsea as our favourite club. Dislike clubs, let's say Man United. So just type it in and press enter and it'll bring it up. So you could also add your playing history as well if you wanted to. This just all goes in your history panel on the game. And that is it my friends, so once you've done that you will then save editor data as, let's say test um, Jamie King. So once we've saved that, we will then load Football Manager up, new career game, Football Manager, edit, so it'll say your editor data files here, what you've just saved, so you then press edit, and just wait for the ga um, game database to load. So just clear everything that's on at the moment, so it was under T wasn't it, so test Jamie King, confirm. Let's clear these, and let's just go with the smallest one, so we was in the Premier League, so let's get this loaded up like this. Start game. Right, so this is set up, so let's just use the same profile. Uh, we'll go to Chelsea, confirm, right so let's see if we can now find the player, so we'll skip these meetings a second, so there he is, the player is there now, and he's actually pretty good, he's 20 years old, he's already valued at 60 million at 20 years old, so he's very good, like I say you don't need to set the attributes on technical, mental or physical because it will process that based on your current ability anyway. So that's today's tutorial out of the way. Any questions just pop them in the comments and I'll get to you as soon as I can.